So, how do you capture drone-like footage without a drone? How do you give your footage an epic and cinematic feel using just a couple of basic accessories? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you 10 fake drone shots that will instantly make your footage stand out. It's coming up. <laughs> Hey everyone, Steve here from Learn Online Video, and today I'm at this incredible location on Dartmoor National Park in the southwest of England, where I'm going to be showing you 10 fake drone shots that will add serious production value to your films and videos. This is a really simple technique. I'm going to walk you through each shot step by step, and then at the end of this video, I'm going to edit all 10 shots into a short cinematic sequence to see what results we get. Today's video is sponsored by Epidemic Sound. This is where I'm going to be getting all of my music and sound effects for the final sequence. My setup for today's shoot is the iPhone 12 attached to the Zhuin Crane M3, which is attached to a light stand, a relatively basic setup that delivers incredible results. But as always, all gear used in this video will be linked in the description below. Now let's kick things off with the easiest shot of them all, the fake drone. For this, I'm going to cue my subject to start walking forwards. Then with my light stand fully extended and my camera at an elevated position, I'm going to follow. I'm going to keep about 10 steps behind my subject, trying to keep them in the center of frame with my movement smooth and consistent. Now with the camera moving smoothly at an elevated position like this, we get what looks like a drone shot. This is a great easy way to replicate drone-like footage, particularly for those of you that can't or don't know how to fly a drone. Okay, shot number two, the mega jib. Again, nice and easy this one. We're going to start with our camera low to the ground, light stand fully extended, cue our subject to walk forwards and lift. We're going to keep lifting our camera as high as it will go as our subject walks off into the distance. This movement replicates a drone taking off or a mega jib crane style movement. A very cinematic shot, this one, often used in big Hollywood feature films as the end shot. The reverse of this would be the jib down. This time I'm going to start with my camera high up in these branches and bring my camera down as my subject walks towards me. This shot works well as an establisher because it reveals both character and location. This movement and framing also help give your footage depth and pace. Okay, number three, the flyby. We're going to start with our camera nice and low to the ground for this one, push forward whilst our subject walks towards us. I'm going to keep my camera nice and low, push through this grass and then lift up and fly by my subject as I pass. I'm going to keep lifting as high as my camera will go. This is a great shot to add more pace to your footage. The camera being this low to the ground helps emphasize the movement. This shot is not only great for establishing a character, but also reveals and shows off the location. So those were just a few basic shots, but now let's step things up and get a little bit more creative. Number four, the through the legs. For this, I'm going to start with my camera extended as high as it will go and push forward. I'm then going to slowly bring my camera down whilst my subject walks from left to right. I'm going to keep moving forward and push my camera straight through my subject's legs. Skill timing and a bit of luck required for this shot. We got it on our third attempt with the first two shots hitting the ground and feet. Let's take a look. Look, camera starts high up at an elevated position, pushing forward, camera starts to come down and through the legs. We then keep pushing forward and lift. Shot five, the follow jib reveal. With your camera nice and low to the ground, push forward and follow your subject from behind. Walk a good 10 steps, then cue your subject to stop. Keep pushing forward whilst you lift your camera up and over their head to reveal the location. Let's take a look, camera pushing forward. We're following our subject. Again, the movement is emphasized being this low to the ground. We lift up and reveal the location. Here's another example, camera pushing forward, low to the ground, subject stops, camera keeps pushing forward, up and over. Such a great shot, this one. It really does tick a lot of boxes. Great way of establishing a character. We've got cinematic movement. We lift up and reveal this location, an absolute must for your filmmaking arsenal. Shot number six, the hero reveal. With my subject high up on these rocks, I'm going to start with my camera low and then lift up to reveal him from the feet up. A great way of introducing a character this shot. It creates intrigue. We've got cinematic movement and with a bit of timing and direction, it can really help tell a story. With all of these shots, be sure to experiment with focal lengths and lenses. I usually use the wide angle lens for these shots, but here's the same shot, only this time using the standard lens. I actually prefer this one as we're a little closer to our subject for the reveal. Shot seven, the top down. 
For this, you'll need to get your camera high up above your subject's head looking down. I'm going to use this giant wall. Be careful with this one. Only attempt it if you are confident it is safe to do so. I'm now going to follow my subject camera pointing down and try to replicate a drone flying above his head, whilst also trying to keep him in frame the best I can. I'm going to keep following all the way until he reaches the top. A classic top-down drone-like shot, this one. Great to sprinkle into a sequence and adds a really nice and unusual perspective to your films and videos. Number eight, the tracking drone. For this, we're going to track our subject from the side, starting with our camera nice and low to the ground. We're then going to lift our camera up as they climb to a more elevated position, keeping them in frame and tracking them as they go. Very hard to pull this shot off without a crane on tracks or a drone. This is another great shot to reveal both character and location. Camera tracks alongside our subject and then lifts up as they climb to a more elevated position. Shot number nine, the fly through. For this, I want to replicate a drone flying through a tight gap. I'm going to start with my camera pushed through this window, high up and then pull down and back as my subject climbs through the window. The shot starts by showing off the location, then pulls down and back through the window, subject climbs through and we continue pulling back. A nice surprise element to this shot to help keep your audience engaged. Shot number 10, the transition. One of my absolute favorites, this one, but we're going to need two shots to pull it off. Shot one, the idea with this is to start on a completely black frame. I'm going to get my camera nice and close to the front of Chris's lens to achieve this. I'm now going to pull back and lift up to reveal this location. I'm going to pull back and lift my camera as high as it will go. The shot should look something like this. We start on a black frame, camera pulls back and lifts up to reveal this location. Okay, shot number two, we're going to do exactly the same, only this time at a completely different location. Camera starts nice and close to Chris and his camera camera pulls back and lifts up. We now have two very similar clips, but at two very different locations. This is everything we need to create this transition. Now, with a little bit of editing, we can reverse shot number one at a speed ramp and cut to shot number two at a completely different location. A great creative transition to add much more interest to your footage. Okay, so we now have all 10 shots ready to be edited, but before we do that, we're going to need some music and sound effects to really help make this footage stand out. For this, I'm going to head over to Epidemic Sound and find a track that I feel will best suit the footage and the mood that I'm going for. Now, what's great about Epidemic Sound is that they make it really easy to find what you need. They've got playlists based on genre, mood, theme. Take this one here, for example. I'm going to click on Promos and Trailers, and then let's go for Adventure Trailers. Now, there are a ton of tracks here that suit the mood and feel that I'm going for, but let's go for this one here, our final mission, Epic Classical adventure. Perfect. Now, music is one thing, but if I really want this sequence to stand out, then I'm going to need some sound effects. This will really help add another layer of interest to this footage. I'm going to download some whoosh sound effects. I'm going to download some atmospheric sounds like wind. I'm also going to download some camera shutter sound effects. These will come in really useful for some creative transitions. And that's the beauty of Epidemic Sound. With a subscription, you can download as much music and sound effects as you like, so you can really experiment and get creative with your films and videos. And if you would like to try Epidemic Sound for free, they are currently offering a 90-day free trial when you use the link in my description with the coupon code LEARN90. This is only for a very limited time, so if you're one of the early ones watching this video, you are in luck. So we now have all of our music and sound effects for the final sequence. So now let's edit all of this footage together and see the results.
So what did you think? Hopefully you can now see how by simply combining your smartphone with a couple of accessories, you're able to capture much more cinematic and creative looking shots. If mobile filmmaking, gimbal moves is something that you're into, then I have a ton more content on this channel to help you learn and improve. I will link a playlist below. If you found this video useful, do let me know by giving it the old thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more content like this, learn more about video production, you can do that by watching one of my other videos just over there. But that's it from me. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.